Here we go. So HBO Max and, uh, yesterday announced their entire streaming library or streaming service Hit and everything shitty. is going up. But one of the big things for DC fans, we're getting a live action Green, Green Lantern. Lantern. Yeah. Uh, series by Greg Berlanti, Arrow, like The that. Flash, Supergirls, Titans, yada yeah. yada. But are we doing and that? Strange Adventures, which we, is like an anthology series. Well, let's go back to Green Lantern. Are we going to yeah. do Green Lantern now? So they have not said who. No, 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 not, not, not casting, but are we going to do it the same way that we do Flash and all those types of shows? No, or? this is an HBO Max show, so okay, this so would not look, be a CW so it's look more show. Like a he movie. said that this is the, bigge- the yeah. biggest okay, good, like that. Of, of any okay, DC like that. show that like there has that. been. Like do you know, that. That's what is it connected to the love movie? Simon. Oh. No, yeah. that would be rad. Right. But is it connected to the bigger universe if they're still going there? Because that's what I heard, but I can't confirm it on any of these. Universe. Like if it's if you Green Lantern Arrowverse? appears, no, no, no. If Green Lantern appears in this show, can he then appear in the movies with like Jason Momoa and Gal Gadot? Oh, you're asking it's connected sim- to the film similar universe. to what was similar going to on on with, Netflix. Yeah. Um, well, with no, the not MCU. Netflix, but what Disney Marvel Plus. is doing oh, with Disney, Disney Plus. Yeah, but the opposite way. Because no. we'd be starting on TV and then going into the movie verse. Well, what you're I guess. Well, movies have already been there before. We already had. He's t- he's saying basically any of the movies that have happened before. Right, the movies happened too, and then yeah. Jessica Jones came, and they're in the same universe. We just don't actually right. see them appear. Right, is right, that right. right. But, yeah. but right. Marvel right. with Disney Plus is making it more of a connection. It's literally going to connect to the movies in the MCU now. Well, I heard that DC is now trying to do the. It will be doing the same have, with Green Lantern. They have made it very clear thus far that we are in two different Earths mm-hmm. or okay. multiple different Earths. With the CW shows, HBO Max, I don't know. I think it is kind of an interesting opportunity if they're going to cast a uh, uh, John Stewart, a uh, Guy Gardner, uh, whoever they're Hal whoever, Jordan, Hal Rodney, uh, Hal Jordan, who by the way hashtag Kalinowski for GL. Hell yeah, that's what we're trying to do. At least get him in the room. He's perfect like for Hal Jordan. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, but it, depending on who they go with, it would be a great way to introduce them if they're really liked, and then put them in a Green Lantern Corps movie, even if it's only one. Like say it's just a Hal Jordan show and then the movie is Hal Jordan teaming up with John Stewart and that's the Green Lantern right. like buddy cop type movie that they've been talking about for a long time. Right. Uh, that would be that. really cool. I, I kind of don't think it's going to happen considering I think that if they were going to do something They'd want like one. this well oh, Grant Gustin could not have been more popular and they were like eh, F this we're going with Ezra Miller anyway. Right. Yeah. So Is he still is he still Flash? Flash? Ezra Miller? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. According to now, I mean, they, uh, they don't know what they're he doing wrote. He wrote the script right. uh, with Grant Morrison, okay. and then they scrapped that. But then he's still on, and then they—it's uh, just been very confusing. I'd like to see a Flash movie written by Jim Morrison, but he died a long oh, time. Man. Yeah, I would root for that too. Um, but this is really exciting because people want Green Lantern, and they have not figured out how to get that in the movie yet. This, so. I, I can't tell you how many times, like everybody in the DC world, anytime you talk about anything, it's just like, "What about Green, Green Lantern? Lantern? Green, Green Lantern. Lantern? Green Lantern? Oh, Green I was Lantern. excited." Look, even the like, ship bomb movie that I liked that, it. No, I said I didn't like that movie, but I liked the trailer. I remember when yeah. everyone was not excited about the movie, and then they did this like four and a half minute trailer at Comic Con. Like, Holy shit, this movie's gonna be good. It was not. But I it, disagree, I but not. I liked it. it, it I like the fact that Ryan Reynolds he hates it. He, he, hates it. he yeah. shot himself in the head in uh, in, in in Deadpool, Deadpool? too. Yeah. Um the uh but it has a lot of very cool elements, and I think that it could be amazing and a fun TV show. But I don't. I'm. I have that same question. It's like I. Just, I think this is an opportunity to connect it to the movie. They've said yeah. it's going to be in space, which means budget wise, yeah. we're talking millions of right. dollars yeah. an right. episode. Uh, this is going to be huge, huge for HBO Max. This is a massive draw. That uh, we had space. been talking about what could HBO Max do that's on the level of Disney. We had mentioned Harry Potter series right. because Warner Media, uh, but Green Lantern, I feel like, is their first big play to say. We see you, Disney. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it, well it's making me believe that it's not oh. going to be connected to movies because it's all from Warner Brothers Television and Berlanti. He's, yeah, he Berlanti does all, does all his so. Berlanti stuff. Yeah, but, uh, we'll but they also, uh, on top of that, they also announced a, a DC High. Did you guys see that one? That's the one with uh, Elizabeth not, Banks. Not that kind of high. Oh. Super high. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. I thought you were. That's the Elizabeth Banks show. Yeah, it is the Elizabeth Banks show. They announced the Elizabeth Banks show, an Issa Rae show, and a Mindy Kaling, and a Mindy Kaling yeah. show, all HBO, um, which is badass to have three of the biggest women in the 
creation space. On HBO Max doing it all. Yeah, really yeah. cool. Uh, but DC High, and then, then they announced the DC Anthology one that you're talking about. Yeah, Strange Adventures. Which is going to uh, be an anthology series but for the, DC uh, and tap into that. And we're saying that this Strange none of these are animated, correct? These are all live action. Thank God. Okay. Those are, um, all, those are all live action. DC does have some animated yeah. things going on. The Batman. animated Harley show that's going to be mm. on DC Universe, which right. I'm still I'm still waiting for clarification. Is I'm Margot still Robbie going to voice her? That would be cool if they I, did that. I think it's um, the girl from Big Bang. Oh, um, Kelly Kuko? Yeah, Kuko? Yeah, whatever her yeah. name is, Kelly I think. Kuko. But, but um, Ma- Mark, hmm. you'd have to check me on that. Okay. Um, they've had trailers for it, but it's still confusing to me. This is what I still am waiting for. What is happening with DC Universe? Mm-hmm. I still don't understand. Because if Green Lantern's going to HBO Max, mm. and Doom Patrol is going to air on both DC Universe and HBO Max. They're just phasing out. But They're phasing but, out DC, right? Yeah. yeah. Because that's what it feels like. But the Harley show, the Stargirl show, all that is still announced for DC Universe. Yeah, and then DC Universe, is just, I, I would imagine, this is my thought. It's going to get gulped. Yeah, when we click on HBO Max, there will be a tab for DC Universe, and so it's it's going to go through. And would Green Lantern go under that? Uh, maybe. Might be in both places. Yeah. It's just the way that they're doing it, I think, is not as smart as... Well, here's what I think is you have a lot of people that paid up front maybe for a certain a length of time or whatever, and you, they don't know exactly what they can do yet with monies towards HBO Max, because if you look at the price point of HBO Max, it's the most expensive of the streaming services. When does services. it come out? It's $15, which is the same price as HBO. As, as HBO. Yeah. But you get but you get HBO yes, with it. Yes. Right? You get HBO going yes, all that stuff, too. Yes. Yeah, okay. but you don't get... If you have HBO, you don't get HBO Max. Well, That's you just have to problem. cancel it out. and then, No, not really, because you just cancel same it. Price. You just cancel it and get it and get it all yeah. the shit. I guess I have to cancel my HBO on yeah. my cable. And then you just get everything I'm else. I'm sure that they're going to have a way to, like... Yeah, but you get all the HBO out. shows and all that stuff, too. Which is why, why, to me... Why wouldn't you do people that? People are saying it's the highest price point, but it's funny, because it's not higher than HBO. Right. So if you're not already getting HBO, maybe... Um, it depends on what you have. Okay. I do, t- yeah, twelve ninety nine, okay. and this is fourteen ninety nine. They've right. also HBO also announced that in twenty twenty one they're going to move to a advertisement program. Uh, so for the first year, it's HBO be is HBO Max. So for the first year, it's not ads. Twenty twenty one will start with ads. I wonder if it's going to be like Hulu, where you can pay more to, to not ads. have it. Yeah, or I, I'm huh. not sure. 